an anvil mall loadout? Let's build one. And by any means, this may not be the best loadout for you to be running with Anvil, but for me, this was just the best loadout running for Anvil for me, and it worked well for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that Anvil is probably one of the best rogues in the game right now, just for the fact that he has the strongest toughness. Sure, his speedness is slow, and he doesn't get around the map very well, but he has bunkered down shields that closes off pathways to prevent people from getting to you, and being able to shut down with so much resistance of damage. So my build is going to amplify on around his damage resistant to everything. So around this, Anvil is pretty much an astounding beginning rogue for anybody that's starting out in the game. He's immediately the very first one on the line, and he's beautiful. He's got an amazing perk system. He's got an amazing LMG. He's just got a great setup. Like there's Everything about it that he's got going for him is amazing. C4, eh, that's probably it. Baseball bat, eh, that's probably it. Everything else? So we're going to go over his little perk system today, but we're telling you what's the best perk system for him and for throughout the five rounds because in Demolition, you're probably going to mostly only go through five rounds before it starts resetting you. So we're only going to go up to five rounds. Okay, guys. So to begin off with Anvil, you obviously want to start off with the L the MLX Maul. We're not going to go with his shotguns. We're going to just throw his shotguns away. That's a totally different build for a totally different day. We're going to run the MLX Maul. So for round one, you want to purchase the MLX Maul and then you want to save the rest of your money. The reason you want to save the rest of your money is if you notice, a lot of his perks are a lot higher than other perks. He's got a legendary armor, which is 1600 which granted we're not going to go get the armor we're going to leave the armor out um yes it's really good don't think that it's not horrible to buy it is very much really good to buy however we want perks that stack and pretty much go throughout the whole game and armor does it once armor gets depleted armor's gone so Again, after round one, you purchase your MLX Mall and you saved up your money. The second round, you're wanting to purchase Bulletproof. Get as much down as you can, get every assist you can, try to get as much money as you can to get to 1200 because you're wanting to buy Bulletproof. Bulletproof has 15% damage taken. It's not counting the headshot, so if you do get headshot, it's still going to take the full damage. But if you're getting shot in the body, you're going to take 15% less damage, plus the stack of him having the ultimate toughness where he's just is, I think it's nine toughness already so he's already got a nine damage resistant plus a 15 extra percent damage resistant that's going to bring him up to 24 percent on bullet damage reduction and that is <laughs> very nice <laughs> but if you can't purchase if you so happen to can't purchase bulletproof purchase life drain life drain is gonna it's not bulletproof but it will keep you in the fight where you're able to actually get if you're able to get downs you're gonna be able to get your health back up and it's gonna keep you at least a little bit in the fight maybe not as long as bulletproof does just depending on situations if you're actually getting downs if you're not getting downs but if you're not gonna have enough for bulletproof try to have enough for life drain all right so we're gonna go to the round three round three you should have already we're gonna say you purchase bulletproof all right you're gonna purchase replenish this is gonna make anvil an unstoppable machine he's gonna end up using the mlx mall with 50 60 rounds in the clip and then he's just going to keep on firing every time he downs somebody so now you're running with the replenish you down somebody full ammo you're going to always be loaded with your gun so that way you're not stopping at any point in time and that's just beautiful with his bulletproof because now not only is he be able to take damage that's let 15 less but he's able to spit just as much ammo out as much as he can take in at <laughs> the nice so we're now going to go to <coughs> round three we're still in round three with replenish and you're going to try to you know again you got bulletproof right now you now you got replenish now you're going to try to save up for life drain so round four when you start off if you have enough money if you haven't already purchased life drain get life drain so now we are 15 percent damage resistant we have ammo always going into the clip and we're able to regenerate our health we are unstoppable right now anvil is just a big bulldozer the only thing that can stop him is like four bazookas okay 
<clears throat> so we're still in round four because you should have a little bit money still to either get tenacity or again with it's kind of i mean i would i would prefer tenacity just because again it's a stack but if you can't purchase it go ahead and get the aps systems just okay because again they're just as effective as the tenacity because they can actually prevent utilities being hit on you and that can just that's that's really good somebody throws something at you aps goes off it just prevents you from taking any kind of damage to begin with you won't even have tenacity before it However, with it being anvil and not trench, you can only carry one APS with the first purchase. So you would have to level it up if you want to get an additional APS system. So it's debatable. Either tenacity or APS. Your choice. Okay. So last round, I kind of this is kind of like my thing just because like again, a lot of guns are really good with just their base level and you don't really have to upgrade them. So I really don't upgrade a lot of my guns to round four to round five. So we're in the final round guys and you want to try to upgrade your mall as high as you can. Nine out of 10, you're going to get to epic, probably not legendary, but if you can, just depending on if you're just dropping people and you just constantly got downs, you probably can. But if not, you'll probably get epic. Either way, that LMG is still going to do superb damage. And again, that's what you're wanting. That's how you're wanting to put it down. You're wanting to just slam it down on top of them, and they're not able to do anything. Again, Anvil is just a bunker down. He's going to hold the line for you type guy. And this setup is just for that, especially when you're a beginning player and you're trying to run a tanky character this is probably about as tanky as it gets now if you're able to get armor in some way with the other four perks I mean I don't know maybe don't upgrade the the LMG at all just go straight for it and if you're able to do that then <laughs> good for you man because that's a lot of money to invest into one rogue and again a lot of people that are starting out or beginning it's not going to be as easy to come to so yeah, it's debatable. So, y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Do y'all really like this uh, anvil lo loadout with the LMG? Do you think, ah, he's too tanky. We, why don't you just let him run around with armor? That's better than bulletproof. And you just let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll tell you why I think that I like bulletproof over armor. But, I mean... I keep saying it in the update in the videos every time I'm talking about why I think bulletproof is better because again it's an overall stack it stays on throughout the whole game armor you lose it you don't get it back there's no reobtaining it next round you get it back throughout the round or every round when you lose it ah just, it's just anyway y'all let me know in the comment section down below um, if y'all like the channel so far please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel I'm trying to constantly update and make videos every Tuesday Wednesdays and Thursdays and at the beginning of the first of June on the first either Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday whatever is the first of that month that I get to I'm going to be changing my name over to Garbo right now it's Kuja the Paragon but just to let everybody know that will be changing over so please be prepared for that and uh yeah guys I hope y'all enjoy the video until next time peace Enemies have been wiped out. First round on me.
Bomb diffused. wiped out. Disarm it. you are. 